in the Bible and in history, there's been no one that has been born without male um, interference, you could say. And Jesus Christ was born without any male interference. And you agree with that? Yes, yes. The Quran right. testifies yeah. for that. Now, I'd like to ask you, why, for what reason do you think Jesus was born without male interference? And that he led a whole sinful life. For what reason? I mean, sinless, sorry. You know, what reason? Why Jesus specifically? You know, did he not do something special? Was it not a special um, birth and a special life for a special reason? A specific reason at the end of his life. Why did he have to live a sinless life right through until his death? You see, we Muslims believe that all the prophets are sinless. That's our article of faith. So as such, we will not try to look for faults in Jesus. Whatever we read, he says, no, 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 I can't accept it. I can't accept it. But I will not ex we will not attribute any faults to Jesus. With regards to his miraculous birth, the Muslims, you know, a thousand million Muslims of the world, we believe in his miraculous birth. Now, does that make him into a superior being? Miraculous birth, being born without a father. Does that make him unique? Yes. Yeah. Now, if he is unique and he deserves our worship, because he's got no father, then there is another man in your holy book, in the Bible, who's got no father and no mother. So a person who's got no father, if he becomes a God and the son of God, then the one who's got no father and no mother is greater than Jesus. You should be worshipping him. Adam had no father and no mother. God created Right. So God created Jesus without a father. Why Adam shouldn't sinned. you not worship Adam? Adam sinned. Oh, sure. You see, Christ. All right, all right. Then what about Melchizedek, the high priest of Salem, book of Hebrews? We believe he was uh, Christophany. Uh, yeah. Christ That's appeared. Kind of Look, he says, this man, Melchizedek, is the high priest of Salem. Mm -hmm. That's right. Salem. Yeah. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Salem means Salam, Jerusalem. Yes, Jerusalem. 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 Right. High priest of Salem. And Abraham, he went and paid him tithes. Right. He was a historical person. Right. And he is described in the book of Hebrews without father, without mother, without beginning, without end. God himself. That means these are the qualities of God that Melchizedek has. He deserves to be worshipped more than Jesus. Jesus had a beginning in the stable and he had an apparent end. He had a beginning and he had an end. He had a mother. She carried him for nine months. And when he was born, she had to be purified after seven days, according to the Jewish law. That means the birth of Jesus made her, his mother impure for seven days. But Melchizedek, he didn't make his mother impure. He didn't make his mother impure. He was not born. He had no father, no mother, no beginning, no end. And these are the qualities, as you just said now, are the qualities of God. So he's got godly qualities. As such, we should be worshipping Melchizedek and not Jesus.